guys, welcome to Kazumi Tan Productions, and today this is the tutorial on how to do ripple effects in my hotel for slash anime studio. So let's begin. So we're gonna create this ripple effect. If I play it out, you'll see like this ripple expands, which is pretty cool. I do say so myself, and um, so let's begin with a new document, and let's call this Ripple 2. Before we start on animating this project, we're going over here to File Menu, scroll down to Project Settings. Make sure that the settings is set um, to the highest resolution. Um, it's up to you on the resolution part. So this is what I like to do in my um, animation. Uh, make sure that the um, frame rate is set to 24. Then go ahead and press OK, and then save that document, Control S. Now we can um, start off with this first layer called this background. And now we can um, create our background now which is going to be this color for the water. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the stroke. Click and drag to the um, right and to create this shape. It's pretty simple. Now we're going to create a new vector shape called this ripple. Oh, whatever. And then we're going to make sure that the auto fill and auto stroke are off. Click and drag it along the canvas to create the shape just like this one with the oval tool. Now we're going to center um, the circle. Just coming over here to position and entering zero. And what this will do is center it around the origin point. Which is pretty awesome. So now we're gonna just select all the points, control A, control C, control V to copy it, to paste it. Click and drag out the circle that we created. Now we can uh, fill this shape. So um, before we do that, I'm gonna select this nice white color for the ripple. To go over here to um, what type of what type of cray shape that we need, which is only fill. So just go ahead and press enter on the keyboard to select the color pill select the points tap G on the keyboard come over here to where it says split and then we'll make cr create multiple points on the um two ovals and then once again just click it again and then now we should have something that looks like this, which is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and try to um, make this as a thinner type of wave, something that looks like this. 
which is pretty awesome. Um, for M1, we're going to select the points. With the keyboard, we're going to press and hold down Control F to make keyframes. Then uh, from 72, we're going to just do the same thing. Just Control F on the keyboard. Now, if you ever looked at Ripple in real life, they break apart at the edges where, um, okay, this is the center and this is where it goes out, the center. Can you try to break it up? That's what I'm saying. So, so now you should have something that looks like this, which is pretty awesome. But I'm not done it quite yet. Highlight these frames right here. Right click it to make a cycle. We're going to enter in two. So now I should be just repeating itself. But before we start on making our another layer for this animation i'm gonna go over here to layer pro uh layer settings tap this um allow animated layer effects and turn zero for opacity coming over here to um hold on that should be reversed sorry just go ahead and move this cube from over to is 72. Then um, from one, we're gonna um, be clicking on the layer settings again. And entering 99. And just select this, right click it to make a um, cycle, enter in two. So now we should have something that looks like this, which is pretty awesome. Scaling up. So on frame one, we're going to just um, be squeezing down this shape just like that. Then on frame um, 72, we're going to just reset the uh, existing um, scale layer thing. We're going to also cycle this. Now we should have something that looks like this which is pretty awesome we're also going to decide where the second um ripple should take place so i decided to put it on from 30 so what i'm gonna do next is go back on from zero duplicate this about three times to do it and now we can group everything together quite ripple it's easy. 
So on this tab where it says sequencer, we can, can adjust what well, remember I said frame 30. So um, we're going to frame 30, drag this thing out just like this. And with this other one, we're going to uh, go frame 60 now, do the same thing to this one. On the main um, channel, we're going to just be uh, adjusting the opacity to this one. So we're going to select, we're going to select opacity and then turn zero for the first one. Now for the other one, we're going to also do the same thing on frame 30. So now we should have something that looks like this. Which is pretty neat. And then we can go ahead and duplicate this layer. This group layer. Let's say about two more times. To set the position of it. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And this one a little bit smaller. Try not to rotate it. Now we should have something that looks like this, which is pretty awesome. All right, guys. So that was how to do a ripple effect in my hotel for slash anime studio. I tried to uh, hit system with uh, two programs. So you can use this technique in anime studio. All right, Moho 12. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel for new content. See you next time. Bye! For animation and animation tutorials, please click here and subscribe. Hello, guys, and thank you so much for watching this today, this tutorial. And this is an announcement. So what's going to happen um, is that on Thursdays, I'll be having live streams, of course. And for the rest of the week, it's going to be tutorials and cartoons. So I'll be doing either one. And if you like to see a tutorial be made or a cartoon, in general just let me know in the comments down below i'll be seeing you guys and see you next time bye